Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple shockwave in Houdini. It's just going to be a super easy setup with only a couple nodes involved. And you can see some examples on screen, or a one example, depending how many I use. But um, this one's meshed and I also rendered it with Redshift. And if you guys are interested in another tutorial for the meshing and the lighting of this, this scene, then uh, just uh, interact with the video in whatever way you deem appropriate. So let's get started. First off, we're going to be creating the emitter uh, for our, our smoke because that's the way we're going to control our, our particle position is with the smoke. So drop down a sphere and we can call that emitter. And then I'm going to move it up and then I'm going to scale it down and change it to polygon and increase the, the frequency a little bit there. So now we've got that, we can just go and create uh, a, a billowy smoke from the shelf tools up here in Pyro FX. So let's go do that. And there we go, we've got our smoke. It'll simulate pretty quick. Um, and while we're here, we might as well set everything up. So we're wanting this to fire down the way. So if we just change the position of our, our Pyro by moving the center down, we don't need it to have any breathing room at the top or much at the bottom so we're gonna have our floor at zero zero so we can actually move this up quite high you could even go into the side view like that that's fine and I'm gonna increase the sides to like 10 by 10 and then we have a massive area for our our uh, a shockwave to occur um, and now what we're gonna do is go into the pyro solver and change the buoyancy direction to minus one and the buoyancy lift to 25 so this is going to go down now instead of up on y and this is just basically like acceleration of source so there we go you see it going down and disappearing because it's reaching the end of its bounding box um, and we're going to up the, the subdivisions later i'd recommend maybe 0 0.01 you don't really need to go much lower than that um, so now that we've got that, we can create our particles. So I'm going to use a torus. Um, a lot of objects are appropriate for this, but I think torus kind of matches the shape. So let's reduce the size of the radius down to um, 0 0.05. And then I'm going to increase the columns to 500. Also, I'll do the rows as well. We just want to have it pretty subdivided because we're going to be turning this into a smoke. So if we go to ISO offset, then we can turn this into a smoke or a volume. And then now the purpose of turning that into a volume is so we can scatter not just on this the, the shell or the, the outer part of the object, but also on the inside. So if I go and drop down a scatter, then we'll get points scattered all throughout this object like that. For the final result, I did a million particles, which is uh, the max points. So once you go above that threshold here, it's not going to increase. Um, but probably you'd want to turn off like relax iterations because it takes so long uh, on these higher values. And also, since I'm just doing this, doing like a, a tutorial, I'm just going to keep it low at 10k. But uh, for the final result, I'll be turning it up. So now we've done that, we need to actually add vec these points so we need a pop net for that go in here and I'm going to turn off the guide and then change this from scatter on surfaces to all geometry which is going to utilize the points that we already have in the scene and right now what it's going to do is it's going to duplicate the amount of points every frame so we have 10,000 right now if we go next we have 20 30 and that might be the result you want to go with. Um, it actually creates quite a cool result if you keep uh, the particles emitting. But I just want it to be a single burst that will then disperse. So I'm going to do dollar sign $f, which is frame, equals 1. So basically this value is only going to equal 1 on frame 1, as you can see. So essentially this is going to emit on frame 1 and then stop which is what we want. It's just going to use the particles there. Um, right, so now that we've done that, actually I want to still be in there. Uh, we're going to use uh, an Avect 
by volumes node. And we can go in here and actually reference uh, inside pyro import our pyro object. So if we change this advection type, you can play around with this, but I always find that doing update position works best. Uh, and then when you do this, if the smoke actually hit it, like you see it hitting it a bit there, it would actually, uh, it's actually going to move your particles. Um, so we're actually going to move this object up a little bit. Just put a transform before the pop net and then go into the front view. And then all we need to do is move this up so the bottom of it is at ground level. So I'm just going to go down, make it quite precise like there. And then I'm also going to get inside, uh, is it collisions? Yeah, collisions and then control click on the ground plane. And there we've got a ground plane. So that's going to, that smoke is now going to interact with the ground and hit it and then, you know, push out. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to turn up the uh, division or turn down the division size a little bit. And uh, hopefully it's not going to be too slow. I think it'll be fine. But now, you should have it hitting the ground. Is it hitting the ground? Doesn't look like it is. So let's go inside our pyro and see what's happening. So this, we should have in here, we should have a, a what do you call it, rigid body thing, jiggy static solver. That's what it is. Uh, so this might have gone inside our pop net. So if I go in here, yep, it has. So if I just go and control X that and then bring that into our pyro, because we don't need our, our pop net to interact with that. Plug that into the merge, and then that's also going to be simulated with our object, like so. And now if we go into the top level, you should see our uh, particles are going to take the shape of that smoke, which is pretty neat. And that's the basis of it. Obviously, there's way too little particles here for it to actually look nice. But um, as you up it, and also when you bring down subdivisions uh, in your pyro, you'll get a much nicer result. So maybe let's try 20,000. Oh wait, I need to go scatter, yeah. Let's go 50. And as I was saying about the relaxed iterations, that's what's really going to slow down the build. So I might just turn it off. And that's simulating really quick actually. So yeah, yeah. there's lots of room to go up. And um, if you guys enjoyed this, just drop a, a comment, as I said before, and track to the video. And I'll, I'll know you guys want uh, some more of this stuff. And thanks for watching.